guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Rod and this is MotorTube. I'm out here with Rush. We got the beautiful SRT out today. So we are about to meet up with Alex. He has a dope Hellcat. But before we do that, we got another SRT we're about to go take some pictures with. But it's about to be a good day. It sounds so good. Check out the plate. So he is uh, about to go and we're gonna meet up with another SRT to go take some pictures, but it's about to be a good day. Say what's up to Raj. What up, what up? Go subscribe to this channel, don't forget that. It's gonna be in the bio, so let's have a great video. So we are out here, we got both of the SRTs out here. We got the Destroyer Gray, and we got the Granite. Look at the reflection of this. He got the five spoke Hellcat wheels on it. Okay, good, good, good. Look at the scene. We're like at this abandoned building. Look at that. All right guys, so both of these challengers, everything's pretty much stock except the height. So let me show you guys. So this isn't lowered. So check the way this height is. And then check this one out. <clears throat> this one is lowered as you can see. So do you guys see how low it is? So look at the wheel gap here. You know, look at the wheel gap here. So let, let's ask the owner. Hey, could you uh tell us like what did you use to lower that car and how much difference from this? This is stock and that's obviously not. Um Well in reality I had one of my buddies install it for me. Okay. Uh didn't take him too long to do it. Uh, it was actually a lot easier to lower that car instead of the Mustang. Um but between the significant of a difference between stock and lowered, I don't really know a whole lot because barely, I think it had like 400 miles on it when I lowered the Do car. you know uh, how many inches you dropped it? I think it was 1.73 and then 1.32. So exactly. not the, from the front to the back, it's different, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. And what springs did you use, by the way? H&R. H&R, okay. So he used H&R spring and this is stock and this is lower guys and i really dig in this so this looks sweet and one more thing do you lose a little bit of traction right yeah, yeah see i, I yeah. can't do that i, I can't need to, i need to go wider on the the back tires but I, i'm holding off for right now yeah see yeah, I'm, definitely i can already not put power my, my power to the ground and if i lowered it which looks a lot better i'm afraid i won't have yeah traction so Definitely, if you guys wanted to see how it looks when it's lowered, that's lowered and that's not. All right, guys, so this is what we're gonna test out. So this car is not lowered. This car is lowered. Um, this has a Hellcat int intake box or whatever and mid muffled delete and this just has a mid muffled delete. We're gonna try to see who can, who's faster basically, so. And I, I'm trying to see if he if he loses traction just because he lowered it. And will he grab more traction just because it's not lowered? So we're going to test that out. You know me. I, I always have to get some sort of racing in every video of mine. So we're about to do that right now. Let's get it. We're out in Cali street racing. Yeah. <laughs> we're taking this everywhere. <laughs> Scream out one, two, three.
car didn't go anywhere. <laughs> oh, you did. Traction, right? See, I knew that lowering would do something. <laughs> yeah, we could tell because you kind of a little spun and then went. Yep. Yeah. So, guys, lowering your car, you will lose traction, especially if you don't have drag radials. It might it might help with drag radials, but I rather look good. <laughs> so it looks good. It looks beautiful. <laughs> your tires and I do on mine. We're oh, gonna go right. off a dig right now. So as soon as it turns green, he's gonna go and he's gonna go. Is that an M2 or three? M2. Two. <clears throat> I think your traction would be even worse from a dig. Say that, say that again? Your traction would be even worse from a dig. Absolutely. Yeah, so. We'll see. Shifting so early. All right, you're good now. Shift. It'll shift a little bit more aggressive now. This is how it was. How I got it. I yeah. didn't mess with anything. No, you're not. You're good. <laughs> so, <clears throat> leave it in drive. You you see where it says one? Yeah. You leave it to one. Okay. You put your foot on the brake. Okay. And then on the gas, do it uh, like rev it up to 1500, and and then launch it. Gotcha. That's it. Do it over here because some cars start piling by over here. So just launch. Just so I'm do, using two, two feet pretty much. Yeah, but you let once you let off the brake, yeah. you, once you put your foot on the gas, let off the brake. <clears throat> so go back to one. It is. Okay. Now I need a shift afterwards. No, it's no. gonna shift on its own. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. And then gun it. Gun it, yeah. You can oh. just gun it now. You see how it's shifting later than yeah, before? I'm not used to that. Yeah, let it shift. Oh, let okay. it shift out. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. You're good now? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop in with him and show him how to do it. Huh? Okay. We're Uh, 
traction. Yeah, but you see how aggressive it's shifting? It's yeah. shifting later than before. You were shifting at 5,500, and now you're shifting at 65, uh, 6,250. Definitely a big difference. Yeah, a lot of more torque, a lot more yeah. power when you're shifting like that. So now you can shift better. That's why you took him on that one. Gotcha. Yeah. Even though you were spinning. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah. yeah. You feel the difference, huh? We should get away from this spot. Yeah. I guarantee you somebody's gonna call. That's what I'm saying. I usually don't stay in the same spot more than one. Yeah. Alright guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was some cool racing and again, it's so beautiful out here. I mean just look at this. So you guys got to see something different, not the usual, you know, flat streets we have in Michigan. We got hills, we got mountains out here, something different for you guys. So the difference in the cars is one is lowered, one is not. So the lowered one, unfortunately, is not getting traction. And the one that's lowered, brand new driver. He just got it. He went from an EcoBoost Mustang to this. So big difference so anyways guys if you guys like this video hit the thumbs up button if you're new to this channel make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button and join the family and i'll see you guys next video love you guys peace thank you for your support